We need to get to the apartments up ahead because there's reports of a fire. Please move. What? This has nothing to do with me. You don't need a fire truck for a small fire. Enough! Stop fooling around! Oh no, it's an explosion! We need to hurry or it's going to spread. Damn it, what a blaze! Trouble busters! I'm off, 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 off today! I can sit around all day and do nothing! What? What are you here, Hillary? Morning! Your key was open! As a firefighter who protects citizens, you should be more aware of your dangers, Mr. Allen. What? What are you doing here? Hang on! I don't even know where to start! You can start wherever you want. There are way too many places I want to start! Stop pretending you don't understand! Why are you here? I'm off today too, so I figured I'd hang out with a nice little co-worker who's also off. No! Go home! Stop spilling your chips! Don't worry about the little things. Come on, man! Stop trying to touch my books with your greasy hands! I'm starving, Alan! I only brought chips! You're seriously way too free! Huh? Who is that? Is it your girlfriend? This would be pretty messed up to explain if it was a girlfriend, huh? Coming! Good morning, Alan. You have a second? Good morning. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, your neighbor, huh? Good morning. You're over, huh? Perfect timing. Here, have this for lunch. I cooked a little too much this morning. I'll have some. Thank you so much. Thank you for always bringing food. It's seriously a tremendous help. No, no, thank you. We're able to live happily because you guys protect the neighborhood. Thank you, guys. I'm Alan. I'm a firefighter that works in the area. This girl would be pretty if she just kept her mouth shut, but she's actually a firefighter, too. She's really good, too. We all work hard together, keeping the neighborhood safe. We have reports of smoke coming around Block 4. Let's go! Sir! There's some old buildings that way. The fire spreads, it could be tough. True, let's rush. What is that group? Why are there so many cars parked in this road? We need to get through! Please move your vehicles! What? We need to get through! Please move! Why do we have to move? You think you're so important, huh? What? Just go around! We already parked here! What are you talking about, idiot? This is a public road. You can't just park there. Move! Wow, scary! You can't say that to civilians! We don't hurry. People can end up dead. Please move! Then you need to pay us money! $100 per vehicle! What? People might die, right? Then $100 is cheap money! Fine, whatever. Let's go through them. Calm down, Hillary. I'll buy you chips later. Urgh! Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never getting through without a hundred dollars. We just need to go around. Hillary, let's go! What? I thought you needed to hurry. Come on, you think money is more important than people? What the hell is wrong with those idiots? I want to destroy them! I get it, but we need to get to the scene right now! We ran around to get to the site. Luckily, it was just a small fire, so it was alright. But if this was a real fire, then it very well could have been a serious problem. I'm so glad it ended up well. This isn't your house. We have overcome numerous difficult situations. We're basically family. So your house is technically my house. Yeah, no, technically it's not. Stop coming here like it's your house. Your house is cleaner to the station and it's nicer. You also get free food. Hey, wait! Good morning, Alan. Hey! You guys get along so well. Here, you two enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you for always cooking for us. Don't mention it. Can I talk to you about something, Mr. Allen? Is there a problem? Yeah. Apparently there are a bunch of delinquents in the area that are parking without permission. There are a lot of fires since it's winter time. 
She's worried because emergency vehicles wouldn't be able to get through. I see. They're not exactly the most friendly people, so it's a little scary to warn them. I've talked to the police, but it's not like the police can just constantly stick around to watch them. Before you know it, they're all around again. It's definitely those same people! This is definitely a trouble buster situation. Yeah, the roads are pretty narrow around here. It's pretty tough for emergency vehicles to get through. We need to do something, let's go! Wait, hang on, hold your horses! Ah, she's so rowdy! When we went to the place that the delinquents supposedly hang out with Hillary, it was just as we expected. It was the same people from before. I'm gonna show them what's what! Calm down, Hillary! If you do something and cause problems, that's exactly what they want! Come on, let me handle it, need some chips. Roger that! Num num num, you got this! Um, do you have a second? What are you guys doing here? Why do we have to tell you that? Can you not park here illegally or just hang out here? Bad traffic, and we might not be able to get through like before. It could kill someone. What? It's not like there are many fires every day. You're trying to take our spot of relaxation because of something that might happen? How rude. Yeah, we don't know when it'll happen. That's why we need to be prepared. That's to protect you and everyone in the area. You're so cool. What is that? <laughs> what a firefighter, huh? Woo! <laughs> to protect the safety? <laughs> You're seriously drunk on your own sense of justice, huh? For people? Seriously weird, man. Everyone's just in it for themselves. Ugh. I'm done. No more patience. You want to hit me? Go ahead. You're not protecting me. You're so fired if you hit me. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, I'm not going to listen to anything you have to say. This is our area. If you want us to move, you better come begging. You should be able to throw away your pride for your valuable citizens, right? Ugh. Begging towards these idiots. I know it's wrong, but... If I just swallow my pride and everything gets better, then I need to do it. Please, open the road. P please <laughs> I would never want to do this job. <laughs> you gotta beg for some random delinquents? Tough being a fighter fighter, huh? <laughs> they left about 30 minutes later, but it wasn't that they felt bad. They just had something to do. which meant they still kept parking there every day. When the police show up, they disappear. But a little later, they just show up again. Unless something happens, we can only warn them. They just escalated their behavior every day. They're here again. Do they live there? They just keep coming back. How about we scatter some nails on the road then? Yeah, we're gonna run right over that too. Right. We were struggling every day dealing with them. While we were at the station, we got a report that there was a fire at the apartment I lived in. We've got a fire in the apartment in block two. We need to go. That's your apartment, right? Let's go. What are we going to do if they're there again? They're usually not there yet. Well, what the hell? Woo, Andrew is coming through. Get out of the way, nerds. Where did they come from? Ignoring traffic signals, reckless driving. This is bad. Oh my gosh, they're the worst. Can we ram them? No! Don't lose those stupid fire trucks! Let's go! Are they gonna try to get in front to block the road? No, they're insane! This is going too far! Alright, we got here first! You guys are too slow! Woo! We're not here to mess with you guys now. We have a report of a fire! Please, move! What? That has nothing to do with me! Honestly, if you're in such a rush, just go around! We were here first! If we could, we would have! There are no other roads that we could go through! There may be people that need our help now, too! You're exaggerating! There's like a little smoke and no fire anyway! 
Just because you only see smoke from here doesn't mean you know that the fire is small. We need to hurry. You don't need a fire truck for that. You should just carry buckets of water. Enough! Why are you guys intent on getting in the way? It's because you were being so high and mighty telling us to move. What? When did I order you around? If you've got a problem with me, take it with me. Stop dragging others into it. Oh no, an explosion. Oh shit, we need to hurry or it's gonna spread. Damn it, the fire! What? Seriously? No way, an explosion? Mr. Allen! Ah, I'm glad to see you're all right. No, I still need help. My daughter is still inside. What? There are still people inside? No way! Please save her. Please, I'm begging you to save my daughter. I think this is getting out of hand. I don't know. You're the one that said block the road. We just listened to you. Wait, it's my fault. You were just hanging around here as usual. The person who started the fire is responsible for all of this. It's not my fault. I don't care. Just move. If someone is hurt, you're all in deep trouble. We should run. This is too far. Let's go. Wait, hang on. If you guys leave our cars, I can't move my car. Even if you try to get in the car and leave, we have way too many emergency vehicles backed up, so you have to go towards the apartment. But if you go in front of the apartment like this, you're not going to appreciate what you run into. What am I supposed to do with my baby? Yeah, it's really in the way. Go get everyone. We're going through. Trouble Buster! Don't you underestimate a firefighter's buses. For getting your cars out of the way. Easy peasy. On it. Hey ya! Don't touch my car! Ah! You're gonna scratch it! Your fault, idiot. Please, no! It was so expensive! I don't give a shit. All right, the fire trucks can go through now. Let's go! The fire trucks were finally able to make it to the apartment and we rushed to extinguish the fire. A few hours later, the fire was extinguished. It was a miracle no one was seriously injured. You're alive! Mom, I was so scared! <laughs> I'm so glad she was okay. Luckily, the neighbor's daughter was rescued by a neighbor and we were able to get to her. She was unharmed. I really thought we were screwed when we saw that explosion. I'm so glad everyone is alive, though. But my second house is burned. Oh, yeah! I forgot that my house is burned. Don't worry, look at your room. It's only, like, medium to well done. Stop pretending my room is a stake! It means it's pretty burned, too. It's all because those idiots blocked the road and we couldn't start fighting the fire. Oh, yeah! Where did that moron go? That delinquent is gone. I'm sure he was afraid because the whole thing was bigger than he thought. I'm not going to forgive them. Yeah, get mad. Oh, no. I didn't expect it to be that big a deal. Am I going to get arrested? I don't think there was anyone dead, but if they're injured, it's my fault, right? Shit. Oh, God, they're here. What do I do? Hey, you did something, didn't you? There are cops here. Come out. I've got nothing to do with this anymore. I don't know what you did, but you handle it. Mommy, stop! Get out! You're Mr. Andrew. I'm with the police. I'm here to talk to you about the fire from the other day. Do you have a second? Yes. I'm Alan from the fire brigade. I'm Hillary. Uh, uh, how can I help you? What? Don't act like you don't know. Putting it bluntly, we would like to formally charge you and have the police take custody of you for impeding an emergency vehicle. What? Impeding? What is that? Is that a crime? Yes. You'll be arrested and sentenced to a minimum of one year. A maximum of ten years in state penitentiary. What? Why? It wasn't my fault the fire started. The person who's responsible is the person who started the fire. But because you're in the way, we couldn't start fighting the fire. The place would have been burning even if I wasn't in the way. It's not that big a deal. 
We would be there in about 7 minutes normally. But because you guys were in the way, we were over 20 minutes late. If we'd started fighting the fire sooner, it would have ended with a small fire according to the local residents. An investigation of the scene shows that it was very much the case. I don't care about that! It's your fault for always pestering us! So I just couldn't back down! I don't care about your stupid pride! You were going to kill someone over that! You only care about protecting your stupid shitty ego! What?! If you want to go that far, you should have just got people to move the car to begin with! It was your fault for taking so long! It's not just my fault! How could you say that? Honestly, you guys moved my car without a care of the world, so my car is scratched! You're gonna pay for it, right? Sorry, but we had to move your car for the emergency vehicle. We will not be paying you. What? Then what about my car? It's all damaged and dented! You're saying I need to fix it on my own? You must be out of your mind! Karma, bitch. How dare you! Enough! If you have any more complaints, I'll take them down to the station. Wait, hang on! I'm not going to the police station! Don't be stupid. Don't resist. I'm very busy. Ah! Oh yeah, I have someone I want to introduce you to. Melanie. She just got here. Ta-da! She's a lawyer! <laughs> Sorry, I was a lawyer. What? Lawyer? The apartment residents, myself included, will be taking you to court. This lawyer will be talking to you, so make sure you answer her. What? What do you mean? Why am I being sued? I'm going to be the lawyer representing this case. <laughs> I'm Melanie. I'll be in touch. Oh, and about the fire. The fire trucks were unable to arrive due to causes unrelated to the fire brigade. As a result, the fire spread further than necessary, and the residents have lost quite a bit of money. Additionally, they were in fear for their life. Wait, hang on! That's not fair! <laughs> this is a perfect case for me, Mr. Andrew. I'm gonna really come for your money. Wait, are you saying it's all my fault? Don't worry. We're gonna be sending the bill and a nice little visit from the police as well. Must be nice not being lonely, huh? Damn it! Andrew and his friends were arrested and sentenced to five years without the chance of parole. If you get in the way of a fire truck, you may end up costing someone their life. But they impeded our progress and caused the fire to spread. Additionally, some people were injured. Oh, hey, that fire's on the news. Their full names are being shown. Andrew's a popular guy. Yeah, there aren't many people who get in the way of fire trucks. In other words, it's so stupid that most people don't do that. Why are you spilling chips on my new house? Come on, I helped you move. Don't be so upset. If anything, you should be giving me a year's worth of chips for helping you move. You're going to get fat if you eat so many chips. Ugh, you can buy my chips. Come on. You've got quite a bit of money from the court case and insurance, right? No, I need to use it for the move and replacing lost furniture. Why are you so diligent? What's wrong with being diligent, you potato chip monster? Coming! Wait, hang on, you don't live here! Hey, Miss Neighbor. Oh, hi, Miss Hillary and Mr. Allen, too. Oh, hi! I just recently moved here. What a coincidence. I just moved here yesterday, too. So I came by to say hey, but wow! Neighbors again, huh? Thank you for the fire incident. Oh, I'm just glad everyone was okay. Hey! Are you going to be taking this opportunity to live with Hillary? What? No, we're not. No, we're not dating either. What? Really? I didn't know that. I mean, yeah, we're not dating, but I didn't expect you to just shut it down like that. Don't worry, Alan. He's my work partner, but he's definitely not some kind of romantic partner. I don't know. I just can't fall for him, you know? Ugh, this sucks. What a great co-worker. She puts out the fire of my romance. The flame in my heart is not going to be put out, though. Trouble Busters!